back, and today we're going to make some Tudor windows the easy way. What you're going to need is some clear plastic packaging. You're going to need some drywall tape, black marker, a chipboard window, mine is from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts, some scissors, a ruler, some PVA glue, and some black acrylic paint and a paintbrush and a plastic container lid. So what you're going to do is put your plastic lid down on a clean surface. You're going to get your drywall tape and cut a section of it. And don't forget to wrap a section over when you're finished with it so that you don't lose it and can't find it again later. You're going to paste that down onto your plastic lid like so. And then we're going to take some black acrylic paint. I like pouring mine in the lid because I can pour it right back in there and I'm not wasting it. So pour in some black acrylic paint. You're going to take your paintbrush, and we are going to completely cover that drywall tape in black paint. You're going to get very messy during this project, as you will notice my hands get very messy as we go. So that is the first side done. So what I do is I pick it up off of the plastic lid because it doesn't stick well to it. And you're going to see this, so what you do is you blow, just blow on your drywall tape. And what this does is gets rid of the little black marks that kind of go in between the squares and flip it over and you're going to paint the other side of your drywall tape. And when that is done, you're going to be super messy. So make sure that you wash your hands after. And you're going to blow on your drywall tape again. Make sure that none of those squares are full of paint. And it looks like this, but it's not dry yet. So leave it to dry on your plastic lid, just on a separate area that's not all covered in the paint, because the same thing will just keep happening. If you let it dry in the paint, this is what happens, and it sucks, because you cannot use it like this for your project. So, so you're going to cut a piece of the plastic that you have. Um, I'm just making mine smaller, so you can kind of see it's a pretty solid piece of plastic there. I measure it up against the window and I take my black marker, it is a Pilot Fine Line, I believe, Fine Liner, and what I do is I trace around the window shape, so I'm getting the exact size of the window here. And once I've got it all traced out, I'm going to cut it out. Uh, now make sure you are using a marker that does show up, uh, not all markers will. And um, then I cut it out with my trusty scissors. And you can always measure it up against your window afterwards if it's not completely perfect. A little bit smaller usually works a little better than a little bit big um, because the window um, sides will cover your plastic. And snip, 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 and it fits pretty well. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of my PVA glue here. I'm going to spread some out on that little piece of plastic. And uh, what I'm using is actually just a little pin. You can use absolutely anything. You can even use your finger to spread the glue out. Um, I'm just using a sewing pin. And I spread the glue out here. And then once the glue is completely spread out, I take my dried, completely dried drywall tape and put it down on top of the uh, glue covered plastic and I set that aside to dry and when it's dry it looks like this so we're going to take our scissors and cut off those edges that we've done there and just trim it right down to size snip 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 
Snip, 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 snip. All right, looking pretty fine and dandy. All right, so then we take our PVA glue again. We're going to glue the uh, the window here. And then we're just smacking that right together with our plastic piece. And then once again, once that's dry, your window is complete. Isn't that fantabulous? Look at your window. You did awesome. Look at you go. You've got an awesome Tudor window you can use for all of your miniatures now. How easy was that? You're awesome. Keep up the good work, guys.